Okay, Aiden here would like a little help with his homework problem. It says point A, which is at negative 4, 5. So on the x-axis, it's at negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And on the y-axis, it's at 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So point A is right here, negative 4, 5. Uh, and point B is in the same plane at negative 4, negative 3. So he's got a point B right here. B, which is negative 4, negative 3. He says he needs to identify two other points on the same line. Okay, so if we had to go left of the origin, one, two, three, four places for each of these, and then one of them was up five points, and one of them was down three points, then obviously they must be on the same vertical line because they have the same horizontal location. They're both x equals negative four. So really, in this case, any other point that has an x location of negative four would be on the same line. So there would be one at, for instance, negative four, negative two, which would be right here. There would be one at negative 4, 1, which would be right here. Oops, I wouldn't be right there. It'd be one point to the left of that. <laughs> It'd be right there. <laughs> and so on. Any other point that has an x coordinate of negative 4 would be on that same line because that's a vertical line. Let's get just a little bit of practice plotting points here. Um, I have four points listed, and we're going to take them down one at a time. Uh, we need to plot first point A which is at 4 comma 3 we need to remember that when you have an ordered pair which is a coordinate for a point it's always in the form x comma y which means that the first number is our x coordinate which is our horizontal coordinate and the second number is our y coordinate which is our vertical coordinate so if our first point is at 4 3 that means it's 4 over on the x-axis 1 2 3 4 and 3 up on the y-axis, since 4 and 3 are both positive. So this here is point A. Then for point B, we have negative 3, positive 2. So negative on the x-axis is to the left, so we have 1, 2, 3. And we still have a positive 2 on the y-axis, so that's up 2. So we have point B right there. Then for point C, we're at positive 1 on the, on the x-axis. So we go one to the right, but we're at negative five on the y-axis. So we go down five points. So point C would be right there. And finally, we have point D, which is at negative two. So two to the left on the x-axis and negative three. So three down on the y-axis. So there's point D. So then we need to find out which point is in quadrant one. Okay, well, the quadrants are numbered a little funny. I'm sure you read it in the text, but we have quadrant 1, 2, 3, and then 4. So they're kind of counterclockwise there. So the point in quadrant 1 would be this one right here, right? Point A. So A would be in quadrant 1. And then in quadrant 2, we'd have point B. So all you need to do to remember to plot points easily is just remember that X comes before Y in the alphabet, so it also comes before Y in an ordered pair. And X is your horizontal axis, which is just like the ones you were doing when you only had like a single number line. And then Y is your vertical axis. The new one that you added on later, later is the one that comes after. So one coordinate at a time, and it'll be no problem at all.